we are collecting local stories and we're going to be turning those into a social map of this landscape in the form of a hot air balloon we've decided to suspend these great stories of these local people living in you know, the, the flats here and in the surrounding area to, to, to hang that from the sky. We launched the Thamesmead Open competition in March 2020 and it was really this vision or hope of creating a really iconic, inspirational, large-scale project for Thamesmead that would both put it on the map and, and draw the world's attention to this as a really extraordinary place. We worked with a panel of three local residents, uh, some people from the mayor's office, from the culture team there, just a real kind of mix of cultural experts and that community insight to, to make that final decision. We've chosen a really unique way of recording the stories, which is that we're going to have them embroidered but they're going to be embroidered by the people of Thamesmead. The idea is that somebody can upload a story to our website or they can give us that story so it's available to the public. We're teaching stitch, we're teaching embroidery, we're teaching drawing. That then becomes digitally printed onto the balloon. So we have these absolutely vast scale moments of history which are very intimate stories. And textile is a very intimate process and so there's something rather charming about seeing that on such a huge scale when it becomes a hot air balloon. So we're currently in the process of gathering stories for the balloon. We need to hear more. We want to know more about you, where you've come from and why you came here. And what is it about this place that's so special to you? We've just completed the build of a prototype balloon. It's a four and a half meter high baby version of the final one that we're going to make. But we need a lot more stories for the final one. The final balloon has 800 square meters of fabric available. And so we need to magnify what we've done so far. The spring is really our deadline for having those, those stories gathered. And then in the early summer, we will produce the balloon, manufacture the full size 25 meter high balloon. And we'll fly it five times in the summer of 2022. We invite people to be involved. How we've done that is by handing out invitations physically, but we also have online uh, a website that people can access where they will see the whole story and see how they can get involved. I think in the true sense of a tapestry and you know the tapestry of life and diversity and having this real sense of what it means to be a community I think that is what we're really seeing out, come out through through the stories that really kind of put Thamesmead on the map as somewhere that is creative somewhere that's cultural a place that really honours the, the past and the communities that live here but that also that looks into the future you don't need to be an artist to respond to it you don't need to particularly have any skill it's just about having that moment of letting go and being creative. There's something really liberating about a sculpture that can fly, a sculpture that can move, it's not fixed. It symbolises what people love about this place, why they move here and indeed how the area is developing in terms of its housing for the future. <laughs>